Good. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Good. Regular. Hi. Hi. Good. You guys ask the questions. So I'm the interloper. <laughs> I'm encouraging all of behind the scenes questions or real life questions because you can't say a lot about the show. Tell us about your dogs. Oh my god, Ooh, they're good so one. cute. Can let's, I say something? Start Actually, can I say stuff. something about my dogs? Really, for real? Okay. Because people have been calling me out on Twitter and Instagram because I always post with Wally, my French bulldog. And not Arthur. And they think that I favor Wally. But here's the fact Wally's a nighttime person. And Arthur is a morning person, and Arthur only wants to cuddle in the morning, and Wally only likes to cuddle at night and does not want to be part of in the morning in reverse. But I don't Instagram in the morning, so people just don't see it. But, so that's, that's where I we're at. You refer to them as people. I yes. was just going to say, I don't think either of them are something. people. So. Wally is a nighttime person, and Arthur is a morning person. They all have personalities. That's they exactly. do. They definitely right? do. Honestly, yeah, I so wouldn't true. be surprised if one day Arthur was like, no one will remember. No one will believe you. <laughs> Will they ever make a cameo, or is their agent? Because when you came to the present, a dog barked at you. It would have been a perfect opportunity. I wanted that to be Wally or Arthur. I know. Wally's can't bark. He's not. Again, he's a person. People don't bark. You could just dub it over. Yeah, exactly. Um, I would love to have them on the show. How fun would that be? I would love that. Yeah. They're I, they're at set all the time, so it's very. I love when I love when they're there because yeah. they're hilarious. Yeah. Okay, so any possibility of like a romantic thing with your two? Because you guys like <laughs> not in real life, maybe. But I mean, because your character is literally gag. <laughs> That's a thing. I, it's a gag from Ian. <laughs> Because Ian does his gag. Excellent word Yeah, thank you so that. much. It's so it's funny. Good. Ian gags all the time as a joke, and I do it now too. To yeah. um, Is it like a, bro a, a brother sister I mean, type of thing, or? I think Deke has a crush on Daisy. <laughs> Maybe a little one, but the, I think that it's great because I think that they're very similar. So I think that they kind of like butt heads in a way that. I think Deke thinks that they're very similar, and Daisy's like. Mm. They're similar. Mm. Sometimes we don't always acknowledge the truth. I don't similar. think. I think they have similar. Like yeah. they both are similarities. You were about same to say, which of, makes them similar. Same type of live organism. Right. And like <laughs> humans. Right. It's just crazy. <laughs> because you literally said similarities and then cut yourself off. Horses. So it feels like... They're not both horses, so they both are humans. Well, it feels um, like they have a little bit more in common than that, but, you know, teach their own. Um, I don't think Daisy's interested in anything right now besides kind of okay. keeping it so I cry every time you're on the show. Thank you. <laughs> okay, conti kind of... Cont I don't know why I'm continuing with this question. If Daisy finds out about Deke's pedigree, like that he's Simmons and Fitz's kid, would that improve any chances or still? I don't, I don't think, I think that's anything that makes it a lot more weird. Um, no, I, don't, I, I think, I, I don't think Daisy's, I think she genuinely thinks he has a good heart and really, but I don't, I like that, it's a fun kind of dynamic that we have where it's, D kind of has a crush on <laughs> She's, I love that you're immediately like, yeah, he's got a good heart. <laughs> it's like, all the things you say to someone that you just couldn't be less interested in. No, he's ugh, inside. He's great. I don't think it's good. <laughs> Were you happy to get your powers back? You got to do the, the hand stuff again? Um, The scene where I get it back was honestly one of the hardest scenes to shoot. And uh, it... Her head, you know how her head's in the vice? Was actually in a vice for like hours. And it was crazy because she couldn't move. And it was like, I, I, I did not, a, I fell for her when <laughs> we had to shoot that, because that was wild. We have to have like a technical, emotional scene where I, you can't, because when you want to move, but you, and also like I could move a little bit, but you, I couldn't act like I could move, so, because then I would be like actual torture, so that was pretty difficult. Um, but the fact that I have my powers back is fun, it's fun, because I, I get to, you know, quick, it's fun. <laughs> I'm quick. Okay. So yeah, it's fun to have my powers back. Um, I think a lot of the season without your powers. Yeah. A lot of food, which has made room for a lot of fun fight sequences, which I love. But I'm, you know. But did you get rusty or you got the hand motion down? Chloe is the best fighter on the show, hands down. She is her with the stunts and like, it, it's it's amazing what she does in the show. It's really <laughs> That's really. For some reason, you're like always there for the fights. Yes, I know. I wasn't going to point that out. <laughs> 
Tiki's like always like in the background. He's like, always like, what's going on? It's like, like a really that's, funny dynamic. That's his entire character is just watching Daisy fight from a distance. But some of my like, favorite mm -hmm. scenes this year have been with you like in the jail cell. That was one of my favorite scenes. And there's a scene coming up in this Oh, yeah. In the next episode. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're talking about. The next, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I just it's watched in a couple. it. I just watched it in ADR. It's, it's is it good? Will know it's one of the funniest things. I was like, just play it twice. He is so funny in the scene, and they it's use a, cool a lot scene. of your ad libs. Which oh, is they rare. did. Yes. Oh wow, yeah, that's the great. Part. Oh, they did. They used that. Yes. Oh. <laughs> There's a scene, the scene that she's talking about is one of the most fun things I've ever gotten to film. Yeah, and like really and caters like very, to his. Like, they were, they, ga they gave me a little gift yeah. with this yeah. scene, yeah. and like they were just like because the, they often they're just like, will you stop? Just like do it, <laughs> and like and this scene they were kind of like, all right, because you've been good. Like they kind of yeah. gave me this. Jeff's notes are often, often like. Great, let's take it down 82%, <laughs> and then that's what we'll let's use. Take it down 82%, and it's not a monologue, it's a sentence. Yeah. Just, <laughs> he'll add in just... lines, like you'll just, and you're like, I don't. <laughs> because we get so used to have, it's Marvel, so we have to be very on the book about specific dialogue because it all ties together. <laughs> uh, um, but uh, it, yeah, so to have someone new come in and kind of take liberties, it's like, oh, we can all do that a little bit. It was fun. It's it very fun. What are your thoughts on Zima in real life? Oh. Zima. Do just, they still make Zima? They, uh, on a limited basis. Are you, you can you get, get any, it, any but sponsorship? It's but they do seasonally. So you can, we, we looked into all of this <laughs> when we were figuring it out for the show. It's, um, you know, it's weird. It was one of the first uh, alcoholic drinks I ever had when I was 21. Oh. Was, uh, <laughs> was a Smirnoff Ice. So I, you know, it was basically Zima. So it, I, I had like a good reference point for the first time I ever had. A That's Zima. why Jeff Loeb is our. Fi oh, and Jeff Loeb is the best thing that ever happened to me. Here's, here's the thing. Oh. Every time Jeff moves his hands or points at something, take a drink. You'll be hammered you in can. one second. You'll pass out before we leave this table. <laughs> All right, thank you.